Among the gods, there is none like you, O Lord, for you are great and do marvelous deeds. You alone are God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear friends, in order to worthily celebrate this Mass, we call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Pour your grace in our hearts, we pray, O Lord, that we may constantly draw away from unruly desires and obey by your own gift the heavenly teaching you give us. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all iniquity and receive what is good, that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. A cereal will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more, our God, to the work of our hands, for in you the orphan finds compassion. <clears throat> I will heal their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root from like the Lebanon cedar, and put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree, and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again they shall dwell in his shade and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine, and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree, because of me, you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord, in them the just walk, but sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. An unfamiliar speech I hear. I relieved his shoulder of the burden. His hands were freed from the basket. In distress you called, and I rescued you. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. Unseen, I answered you in thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear, my people, and I will admonish you. O Israel, will you not hear me? I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship any alien God. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. If only my people would hear me, and Israel walk in its ways, in my ways, I would feed them with the best of wheat, 
and with honey from the rock I would fill them. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. Repent, says the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, the first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, you are right in saying, he is one, there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself, is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. If we would summarize and try to recall the dynamism of the story of the Old Testament, practically it is the love story between God and the chosen people. Yahweh would always forge a covenant with the chosen people, and the chosen people in return will always give their soul love to the loving God. And thus when Yahweh would give his covenant to his people, the people would just simply in return love God too, like there should be no other God there should be no idols but Yahweh alone. But in the story too, we could see how the people turned away to themselves, to this covenant. They break the promise to Yahweh. They have other gods. They have idols. And their own very hearts are also far from the covenant that they have made to Yahweh. And I think, my dear friends, today is also for us to discern on this particular covenant that we are also making in our very own lives. It is truly in our relationship in this world, it's for us to explore those times and moments of which we ourselves has also forged our covenant with the loving God. As Jesus explains in our gospel today, he said that the greatest of all the commandments is to love the Lord our God alone, with all our hearts, with all our soul, with all our mind, with all our strength. And realizing this kind of love within us for God that we love so much, it is just simply translated to our neighbor. Today, in this Lenten season, may we continue to really discern how we love God, the quality and the kind of love that we give to the God who has forged this mutual love before us. We realize how God has loved us. Let us also look deep inside ourselves. How have we reciprocated this very wholehearted and authentic 
and fatherly love that God has bestowed upon us. Let us now pray to the loving God, the Father, that his love for us may inspire all, that his love may mark our attitude towards everyone. That the church may never cease to proclaim love of God and neighbor as the heart of the gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that we may never forget to show compassion to those who are underprivileged, unwanted, and unloved. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may treat every person with kindness and respect. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That by the gentle touch of the Spirit, we may have a deeper compassion for the sick and the elderly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that Christ may bring to his eternal kingdom our departed loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Lil Walsh, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the names and petitions written in our book of prayers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Silently, we present our petitions to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. God, our Father, help us to love you and one another without measure as you do. We make our prayer to Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, for it of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, for the divine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my goodies and cleanse me from my sins. <clears throat> pray, <clears throat> pray, my dear brethren, may sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, on these offerings we dedicate that we may be pleasing in your sight and always be salutary for us to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, 
God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion. He took the bread and giving thanks and broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. To this <clears throat> memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world. By your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and bury our bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At a Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy be always free from sin, and safe from all distresses we await a blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, is that your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. The friends, we offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
save me. Blood of Christ, see me break. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Me the woman inside me. Let us pray. May your strength be at work in us, O Lord, pervading our minds and bodies that we have received by participating in this sacrament may bring us the fullness of redemption to Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us turn now in prayer to intercession of our loving mother. O Holy Virgin of Guadalupe, Queen of the Angels and Mother of the Americas, we fly to you today as your beloved children. We ask you to intercede for us with your son as you did at the wedding in Cana. Pray for us, loving Mother, gain for our nation and the world, for all our families and loved ones, the protection of your holy angels that we may be spared to worse of this illness. For those already afflicted, we ask you to obtain the grace of healing and deliverance. Hear the cries of those who are vulnerable and fearful. Wipe away their tears and help them to trust. In this time of trial and testing, teach all of us in the church to love one another and to be patient and kind. Help us to bring the peace of Jesus to our land and to our hearts. We come to you with confidence, knowing that you truly are our compassionate mother. Health of the sick and cause of our joy, Shelter us in the mantle of your protection. Keep us in the embrace of your arms. Help us always to know the love of your Son, Jesus. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Our Holy Mass has been offered. We now go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God.